so there's been an awful lot of talk, as we know, about the cost of living and how it's really hitting people in their pockets. And I know that we, we will have these proposals being, being brought to Cabinet and being discussed. There's a number of measures coming up, hopefully, hopefully Josepha Madigan, within a timely fashion. But what expectations should people have? Um, we've heard from your colleague Sean Fleming today that when it comes to these price increases, people should shop around. Is that the message from government? Um, I, I don't think that's the message from government. Uh, I mean, people will probably shop around anyway. I think they're doing that already. Um, but, you know, government has always recognised, um, and, and in fact, going back to the budget, we recognise that there is an issue in terms of cost of living. Um, we put in an, an income tax package worth 320 million. Um, we put in a social welfare package worth 350 million. Um, the Tónishta was absolutely intent on making sure that we got a, a social welfare package, a tax package. Um, and, you know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's very difficult for people at the moment. And the problem was the Department of Finance had actually predicted that there would be, you know, inflation at, you know, I think two and a quarter percent. And it actually was 5.7 in December and now it's at 5%. Mm. And I think we saw in your in your video there um, that a lot of that is down to global and international difficulties. Yeah. You know, with the, know with the, the price oil we prices. Do know, we do know the warnings were there. Uh, they were the, there the, around the, budget time. There were calls from the opposition to do something then. And I'm just thinking about the message that was put out there this evening that really it's up to us at home to look at what we're paying for things and to see how we can get the price down. When we know inflation is at this, you know, decades-long high at the moment, and that it's up to us to go to a different supermarket or to log on and to go online onto price comparison sites mm. to change our, our energy suppliers. Is that what we should all be doing? No, I, I, that's not what, absolutely not what people should be doing, but I think they're and going to do that. What do you make that. of that I message? Think, I think they're, but I think people are going to do that anyway, Claire. I, I think we can all accept that. And that's, that, somebody's entitled to shop around if they so wish. But, mm. I, but I think that misses the point. Um, like, it, you know, that the government will support and, and what hasn't been found wanting at all during the pandemic in terms of supports and will continue to give those supports um, and particularly for low income work, work, uh, okay. earners um, it's, it's really important that we do that. Rose you want yeah. to come and, in on that? I mean I think I heard uh, Sean Fleming this afternoon I was quite shocked actually because the people that I'm talking to on the ground they're very very good at budgeting they know how to shop around people in rural areas often don't <clears> have the choice even to do that but it was completely abdicating any responsibility from government I mean, this has been a crisis that has been flagged up for months and months now. And the cost of living is now at a situation where it's completely out of control. And I think we put 366 million into yes, the fuel allowance, 80, 80 um, which helps 80% well. of what Josefa talked about earlier, 80% of earners didn't benefit at all from it. Well, no, I, and that's I the problem. That, and I think uh, even Rose. now, even now, listening to the, the radio this evening, you can see that there isn't a recognition that we are in a real crisis. So take the woman, for instance, that I spoke to in Castlebar on Sunday. On Saturday and doing my mm -hmm. clinics in Castle Bar. She's, her rent was increased from 750 to 1,000 euro a month. She's parenting her own, on her own with three <clears> children. Her childcare costs are over 1,000 euro. You know, like, what it, do you tell her? Shop around. If I you can't in do there, that. Um, we I, I, haven't I, I, had the, we Rose, haven't had the Rose, rent Rose, caps. Rose is actually, I mean, you're, first of all, you're choosing, to, you're choosing to completely ignore what I just said about the social welfare package of 520 no, million. she's working. Uh, she's 550 working, million. she's earning. I know, I appreciate you know? that, but, like, unfortunately, this is Sinn Féin. It's completely hypocritical. They had an alternative budget, which they actually published, where they were going to put four separate taxes on the Irish people. So let's we, be honest we had here. A, yeah, we, had, cost, a, we had an alternative budget. budget cost of one billion, that which we, was in, including an we employer's PRSI you tax, know, which would directly look at, look at, affect This, uh, doesn't, help, this doesn't help anybody Briefly respond to that. Yeah, well, what we have said, in the, for instance, in terms of rents, we have shown how you can give one month's rent back to people through to a tax rebate. Uh, also, how we mm. need and to we cap, the, with cap the cost of rent. You're going dealing with them, but okay. for, the, for well, the person who's right here and right now having to pay hundreds Sinn of euros a month more than that. Inheritance, but of course, okay. inheritance Jed, tax to 36 per cent. I want to bring you in things. on this in terms of what um, you know, the government is announcing. They're, they're talking about you know, targeting um, those who are really uh, feeling the pressure here. Do you agree with the, the, the measures that are being discussed around this? Um, well, you know, the yeah. hardship package and those measures that are um, well, you, you know, likely to come into Claire, place. We, we, we've heard an awful lot of uh, talk but very little action. Um, the real action our government could have taken uh, over the last two weeks was to support a very comprehensive uh, 
package, a set of proposals, fully costed, that we presented uh, to the Dáil uh, two Wednesdays ago, which included, for example, uh, a cut uh, to uh, the VAT on fuel and energy, uh, a rent freeze, the kind of which we did back in 2015, and a proposal as well to increase pay for those who are the lowest paid across our society. And unfortunately, the government chose to uh, vote that uh, down. The reality is they're actually... They have only they, they, the, the reality is... That, would, it be, if, would it be the, fair the, to say the they wanted to come is, up with their own plans here? The, the, the reality is that there have actually only been two proposals so far from government. One is this gimmicky €100 Euro, uh, off your electricity bill, which is really poorly targeted. It uh, impacts on people, or, uh, people who, you know, can afford to pay their bills will get it, but those who need most will get that as well. It's not targeted at all. And the second proposal was from uh, Minister Fleming this afternoon. I think it was really offensive, mm. his appeal to people simply to shop around. We heard no concrete proposals yet from government in terms of how they can help people through this unprecedented experience in terms of the cost well, of living. Actually, leaders, what Ireland needs is, is a pay rise. Evening. We know yeah, the reality is that Ireland is... You know, we talk a lot about what government should do, and absolutely we should, but we don't talk enough about the structural reasons why people in fact can't meet their bills and that's because over 20% of all Irish people are low paid. We need to look again at the minimum wage and we need to finally yeah, transfer and there, translate yeah. the there. minimum just, wage into just, real living just, wage just because say, one third of all Irish workers yeah, earn okay. below 12 dollars yeah, an hour. That is being made well, in just, general just about, about what, what no, may or may not be announced that yeah. the government is out of touch with what's happening yeah, and can, how can, can, I just deeply pay, people are currently feeling the yeah, pinch. And I, and I, and I, I talk to constituents every day I mean, and I know how difficult it is for them but I mean there, there are some things like you know the government doesn't get everything right but I think we do know the party leaders are meeting this evening there is going to be a suite of measures that's going to be announced shortly I understand um, and you know for, in relation to low pay that's two-thirds of median pay and in Ireland we have actually increased in fact Fianna Gael has increased the minimum wage by six six times since it's been in government well, uh, it's now at 10 uh, up, up, by 30, up by 30 percent in the last budget and we also have the but eight, you want to employ now to offer a pay eight rise where they medium, can. Eight eight isn't, highest, isn't that well, the case? Can, That's what I'll, Leo I'll answer that now in a second, but just to say we're the eighth it, highest so. medium um, national earnings uh, annually uh, in, in, out one, of the 27 of the member, member states. The Union. And the second the highest problem. minimum wage out of 21 member states of those member states okay, that have so, a minimum but, but, but wage. So I just want to put that into context. Is employers where they can offer a pay rise should, but the government He's, isn't going he, to do anything about... No, about, that's not true. And I, th I, I think... Right, right that, now, that, though, that, it's not... It's, that, it's that's actually, disingenuous. It's, I think, but it's I think not being considered a budget of sorts. The measures that are coming into place, you're not going to target social welfare pay. Think, Am I right? Well, I think, you know, Jed and I were talking earlier on about Dr Alan Barrett, uh, who, who, who I heard this morning on the radio, and he said himself, it's tremendously difficult to deal with this, and we need a targeted approach. There will be social welfare supports. There will be supports what that are coming. What sorts of supports? I, I'm not privy to the, the detail. I think, I think the, the party the leaders ideas, are discussing them at the, the moment. One of the ideas that he flagged and, and, and was I, around I, a bonus payment similar to Claire, the Christmas bonus. The government wasn't found wanting, as I said earlier, and it won't be found wanting okay. dealing with the cost well, of living. Well, that's good. We all it's look really forward to issue. tomorrow, then. We know it acutely... Like, I remember the recession well. I'm old enough and probably older than m most people here on the panel. I remember the recession. There was absolutely no supports from the government at that particular time. There are supports now. There were yeah. supports during the pandemic. Oh. And we will look after people. But we have to do it properly. You can't have a knee-jerk reaction.